Hey guys, uh, we're just getting ready for winter right now and it's a bit late in the season and so I've been cutting down uh, dead standing trees mostly because they're dangerous, they're dry and so I don't have a whole season to wait for these trees to dry out and so there's lots of stuff to think about when you're cutting down a dead standing tree. Number one is they're super dangerous especially these poplars because they can barber chair but I've often read that the dead standing trees are where um, you know, a lot of critters live. Um, and so they create a lot of uh, biodiversity opportunities. And um, I've certainly, I was just actually thinking about that two seconds ago as I was cutting this uh, tree up. And then I had the shock of my life, like looking at this bark right here, which is just ready to come off of the tree and just kind of creating these little crevices in here. And not two nights ago, I was walking in my paths uh, at dusk and these bats started flying at me. <laughs> and I was like, where the heck are the bats living? I couldn't figure it out because there's not any bats in my barns right now. There's not any bats in my house that I can see. And sure enough, a little bat popped out and I'll put a picture in the video, popped out from underneath this bark right here. And it shocked me because these are such important little critters in our ecosystem. I mean, they eat mosquitoes and bugs. They turn those bugs into um, phosphorus that the forest can use. And so, man, I don't really want to cut down too many more dead standing trees right now. And I also think, we, Michelle and I were talking this year about, or this uh, just the other day, about building some bat houses this winter. And so what a crazy experience to, to witness as I'm cutting this thing out. The, the bat literally just crawled out of the log and flew away. Poor little guy, he probably was scared out of his wits, not to mention that they, they use echolocation. And here I am blasting away with this, this chainsaw, uh, probably making him deaf. Anyways, just a little thing to consider. I think this year we'll probably cut down some live standing trees because there won't be any bats living in those ones and then they'll be ready for next fall to process so that we've got wood for the winter time. So just a little uh, funny little thing that happened that I wanted to report on. So thanks so much for watching guys. We'll see you in the next video.